Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Fieldmaster Edition. At SwissArmy.com, this is going for $49 even. You can definitely find it cheaper than that on the interwebs. But uh, just some general size numbers. It's about three and a half inches long here to here. And from here to here where this larger blade sticks out about an inch, two and a half centimeters. But now I wanna get into and look at all the specific tools of why I like this for EDC and using in, in the forest. So these have the classic red scales, the plastic scales, and you can get, you know, there's ALOX versions of Swiss Army knives. You can get aftermarket scales, stuff like that. But the red is just classic. It's nice for contrast being in the leaf litter. You can see all the leaf litter, you know, behind this. So the red's kind of cool. I like that. Getting into the tools though, on this side, you have a plastic toothpick. I don't know, what's that, inch and a half long maybe? And on the opposing side scale, you have a pair of tweezers. All right, now let's look at uh, the metal tools. And these are all stainless steel, which is really nice for maintenance and for outdoor use. You still obviously have to maintain the tool, but the stainless gives it you know, less rust and corrosion or more corrosion resistance and rust. But here we have a Phillips screwdriver locks up in a 90 degree position. Next, which is always a little bit difficult to get out and I don't really have long nails, so. There we go. It's a multi-purpose hook. You know, if you're carrying a bundle of something, you know, obviously, you know upside down, you, you know, the body of the tool, the pocket tool, has a handle, the hook, Put a string there, you could use it to tighten lashings or, you know, use your imagination. This, this hook really, really does have a lot of uses. I'm not going to go into all of them. Moving on, you have a reamer, which is a really nice tool. I really like having a reamer as opposed to just an awl or something along that nature because this is a sharpened tool. On this side, there's a, almost a flat ground edge right there. You can see that. I'm trying to get light to bounce off of it. And there's a hole in there. So if you are like trying to sew leather or thick material, you can punch this through and then your, and your threads obviously through the other side, you can pull that out, which is kind of nice. And then on this side, there's almost like a hollow grind, a really concave hollow grind. That's the reamer. Now working to the other side of the tool. Start with this one. We have a flathead screwdriver right here, which is you know, a, a decent size, not super thick, but what's nice is that it locks in this sort of 90, 90 degree position and it will lock open one more. You can hear that snap. You see it snaps in that position as well. So you can use it, you know, depending what screw or anything you're trying to mess with. It also is a bottle opener right here. We all know what those are, right? And that little notch right down here is for wire stripping. And we have a can opener right here. A small little flat head right there. You could use that, use the top of that for a flat head screwdriver. And this is sharpened. See the other side, there's a sharpened edge right there. Sort of chisel grind on that curve. Next, we have a pair of scissors, which are nice and sharp. And these are all, this is one of the tools I really like about this Fieldmaster. And these are definitely big enough to use. And while you can do most things with a sharp blade or knife, it really just is convenient to have a small pair of scissors. You know, they really come in handy more than you think. So I really like the scissors on this tool. Next we have a saw with very aggressive teeth. And I will use sort of my favorite tools on this then. And I think the saw is about seven centimeters long. But very aggressive teeth. Having a, having a small saw like this is really handy in the forest. Not felling any trees with it, but you can still do a lot with them. We have a small blade right here. There's two blades on this, small blade right here. This is about an inch long, maybe three centimeters. A classic blade shape. And I'm kind of showing the camera, or I'm holding the tool like this to show the camera. 
but this really isn't the safest way to be to be closing these tools if they are sharp you see how I'm kind of slaying it down like that it's not the safest way I will show you I will show you the correct way to, to use a, a non-locking knife or anything of that nature but a small blade and then lastly we have the large blade you can see it says they're Victoria Knox Swiss made stainless and these blades come really sharp. It's I really, really, really like the fact that these blades come sharp. You don't have to do anything. And they're thin. Obviously, they're a thin blade, but very, very useful. All right. And that, that's all the tools. But now let's, uh, let's use some of the tools that I like. I did mention that there's a correct and safe way to use tools of this nature in knives. And I want to show that first. So you can see I'm opening up the knife like this. And then to close it. Make sure your fingers are out of the way here and kind of close it down on itself. But uh, yeah, let's get the saw out. Let's get the saw out and do something with that first. With these saws, you really just want to start them first. Pull back, get a little groove like that, and then they're usually pretty easy. Got that knot right there, it's kind of... There we go. So obviously you can cut a piece of wood to length, bucket piece, but it's also kind of nice that you can put a notch in the top of a piece of wood. Let's see if I can do it on my lap right here. Got a little bit crooked, but you can sort of see what I was going after. Ideally, I would want to have that <laughs> parallel, but pop a string down there, you know, could be useful. Get the saw away, get out one of these knives. What do you want, big or small? Yeah, let's go big. Like I said, nice and sharp. You can do really small feathers with this if you want. I actually put a picture up of all the feathers I've made with. Uh, with this knife on our Instagram. Because it's so thin, you can really get some sharp or do some work with it. I actually want to do that one more time. I'm gonna get the reamer out now and I wanna put a couple holes on these ends I was making. Rima, Rima, where are you? I 
and I'm through on the other side. What's that look like? You can go a little bit from this side, and larger from the other side. There's one. Kind of just start it, sort of give me like a little pilot or a little center punch. Start working that in. All right, it's about the size I want, I think. See a nice hole through there. This is pine, so it's a soft wood, but really fun to work with. I really like cutting up pine. Thanks, Pinus. All right, put this all, put this reamer away. Here are the two holes I just made with that reamer. Got a little idea, something that could be kind of cool for, I'm sure it could have some utilitarian use, but nonetheless, just some little camp craft. You can make like a wreath frame with this sort of tech technique but see that hole this is other one like a little peg open that up it's kind of cool kind of fun right could be <laughs> yeah I don't ever recommend sitting your tools on the ground just because it's very easy to lose things but you can see the red the contrast on the forest ground. I do want to share with you a wet molded sheath I made. Here, that's hard, right? It's wet mold. This is, I think, five ounce leather. It was a fun little project. Because these scales are so smooth and there's really not much to form around, it sort of lost some of its retention. I mean, obviously, I hold it upside down. It's not coming out. But if I shake it really hard, it will. So I'm going to work. I'm going to use this and see how long it lasts, you know, how long the retention lasts. and. <laughs> Look how I'll have to share this with everyone. So you can see how this belt loop isn't isn't like perfectly even placed because before I had the sort of f f uh, final shape of what I wanted this, it was just kind of waste hanging out. Kind of just tried to eyeball it, and you could see. <laughs> I mean, it still works more than functional, but I had to share it with you. I kind of I kind of annoy myself sometimes with my impatience. But yeah, I just wanted to share share a little belt sheath with you. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about the Fieldmaster. There are a lot of Swiss Army versions and models that have a lot of the tools I showed, the ones that I really like, and their catalog is just very intensive. So I know I've said this before when I did the Farmer, if you have any other, um, other uh, models that you really like for EDC and or wood use, you know, because I spent a lot of time in the woods, I want something that transfers, you know, and the Fieldmaster does a really great job of that. So if you have any other models, let me know, leave it leave in a comment below. Hope you, hope you found the video entertaining, if nonetheless, because it's a beautiful day. Oh man, the humidity has finally dropped today, and it's just very, very nice to be out here filming a video. So, all right, uh, enough rambling. This is Craig signing out with Black Owl Outdoors. Later, turtles.